This video will show how to clean, inspect, and recondition all remaining front axle assembly parts ready for reassembly. If a parts washer is available, place all the greasy parts, the steering knuckles, wheel hubs, and spindles in the parts washer. This cleaning could also be done with a pressure washer or steam cleaner and if necessary solvent and a cloth. Once degreased, place all these parts in a bead blast machine and remove any remaining dirt, rust, or paint. Be sure not to bead blast any machine surfaces. After all the parts are clean, apply several coats of a good rust inhibiting paint to all the non-machine surfaces. Now place both spindles in the bead blast machine and blast all non-machine surfaces. Place a spindle in a vise. Be sure to protect the spindle from the vise jaws by using several layers of a cleaning cloth or blocks of wood. Work the axle bushing loose using a cold chisel and a hammer. Once the bushing begins to move inside the spindle, place the spindle on the workbench supported by two blocks of wood and drive the bushing out using a round punch and a hammer. Install the new bushing by applying a little grease to the outside, positioning it squarely in the spindle housing and driving it in using a block of wood and a hammer. Next we'll inspect, clean, and ready the king pins for installation. Clean each king pin with a cloth. Inspect them for wear or damage in the machined areas. Replace any that are damaged. If all four look good, place them with the machine surface down in a bead blast machine. Blast away any rust, paint, or debris from the non-machine surfaces. Once clean, place them in a piece of cardboard and apply several coats of a good quality rust inhibiting paint to all non-machine surfaces. That concludes today's presentation. We invite you to view our next presentation when we show how to disassemble, clean, inspect, and reassemble an Eisen hub. If ever we can help you with any of your off-road needs, Simply log on to www.lowrangeoffroad.com or give us a call at 801-805-6644.